Hello guys, uh, my name is Nathan Sharma and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to use CD commands, MKDIR commands and some other basic commands uh, in Unix. Let's start with uh, a CD command. CD command is is a change directory command. It will take you to another working directory. Like right now I'm at my home directory. Let's check out where I am. It's PWD. PWD command tells you where you are working currently. Like I'm at my home directory right now. Let's go to another directory in my home directory that is CYG drive. Then my C drive in my computer C drive. I have to get back to there and then in a Unix drive. Here I am. Actually, CD drive just take you where whichever directory you want to go. Right now, I'm at my Unix directory. And if you want to check out where you are, you can type in pwd. It's gonna tell you that you are at this Unix directory right now. If you want to go to another directory, just type in this cd and type in the name of any directory you want, like lab1. I have my lab1 in this Unix, another subdirectory in this Unix directory. So I just typed in cd lab1 and it will take me to lab1. See, here I am you can check check out whenever you want just type in pwd here you are at lab 1 let's let's type in some some other commands cd commands but i want to go up one step like from lab 1 to unix so i gotta type cd double dot it's gonna take me back to unix see i'm at unix right now at this this uh, directory cd double dot just take you back one step but in unix we call it up one step it's because in unix everything is just like a tree this kind of tree when we just type in sequence c drive over here at this point i was uh, i was here in my c drive then I typed in this unix which is another subdirectory in C directory so it means I was here in this unix folder then lab1 took me here then I just typed in cd double dot which means I get up one step that's in unix so it's basically this unix is kind of tree this whole tree it start from very top to the very bottom so when I type in cd double dot here it took me up one step to this unix if I type cd double dot here at the unix subdirectory uh, I mean at the unix, unix directory it will take me to this c drive let's show you that I'm typing cd double dot it took me back to this c directory now let's get back to my unix i'm here i want to go to lab one again type in cd lab one here i am in lab one i have two subdirectories that's test chart and test c let's go to test chart first and then in lesson 1 because I have another two subdirectories in this test C directory that is lesson 1 and lesson 2 let's go to test C first and then to lesson 1 CD test C I can hit enter and can get into this test C and then I can again type CD lesson 1 to go in this another subdirectory that is lesson 1 but I can just type in test C and then lesson 1 all together it's gonna save me time and even the space of the computer memory and 
After I typed this CD test C and lesson 1, it took me back to here, lesson 1, to C. I just and press, press enter. Here I am, at lesson C. I mean, at lesson 1. And whenever you want to see where you are, just type in PWD. Here I am, in this lesson 1. So, CD double dot just did that. Now if you want to go at, at your home directory, you want to work back to your home directory where we started from like from here from home Nitin. that's my home directory i wanna go here but i don't wanna type cd double dot again and again so just like i can just do that cd it, it took me back to my home directory just typing this cd let's go back to this drive where I was working in Unix in lab one test C and then lesson one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm at this lesson one, and uh, if I type in CD, I will go back to my home directory. If I type cd tilde, it's gonna work the same as cd. It's gonna take me to the home directory as well. Here I am, back to my home directory. What if I wanna get back to this lesson 1, but I don't wanna type this, all this cyg drive and all that stuff. I don't wanna type that. What I'm gonna do is type cd dash. This will take me back to the previous directory where I was working like typing in this cd dash took me back to this lesson 1 so I'm at this lesson 1 right now I don't need to type the whole whole path like c by g drive c unix lesson 1 test c lesson 1 or whatever I don't want to type it again just type in cd dash if I type in cd dash again I will get back to my home directory see at my home directory typing cd dash again will take me to back to this lesson 1 here I am at lesson one. So according to this tree, I'm here at lesson one. If I wanna get back to this test C, I just type in CD double dash and double dot. It will take me back to test C. See, CD double dot. It took me back to this test C. What if I wanna go back? Uh, wait a minute. Let me go back to lesson 1. I'm at this lesson 1 right now. I wanna go from lesson 1 to this lab 1. But I don't want to type cd twice. Like if I type cd double dot once I'll be here. I'll type cd double dot again I'll be here at lab 1. But I don't wanna go here and then I want to go th to this test chart. For that I have to type cd double dot again cd double dot and then this test chart cd test chart. I don't want to type that, that much big path so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type cd double dot slash double dot slash test chart. What I basically did I just typed in cd double dot means it took me from here to here and this double dot again took me back to this lab one and in this lab one there's a folder test chart I typed in the name of that folder it took me to this test chart if I if I type in double dot again it took it will took me back to Unix I typed in test chart so I'm at test chart right now let's press enter here I am let's check out where I am here it is. I'm at this test jar. So this cd command is basically really handy. You can use it to go anywhere. If you wanna go to the C drive, and uh, you can just use this cd cd command. Uh, I mean cd again. Just type in cd double dot double dot double dot three times. Three times means it's gonna take you three levels up. You're at test jar. 1, 2, 3. 
it took you back to three levels it, it means you are at C drive now let's check out where we are here here it is we are at C drive if you wanna go back to this test jar you again can type CD dash we are at back test jar so CD dash just take us back to the previous directory which we were we were working in like I was working in this test jar then I came to this C drive after typing CD dash I get back to this test jar yep that's all for CD commands and thanks for watching I hope you learned something thank you